family members did something that resulted into them getting whipped or killed. Most of these things used to happen in the evening time when a child was sold off or somebody was getting whipped for something. The black women used to cry all night behind it. Not even just the women, the black people in general, all the black slaves, male or female. When something happened to a family member or a close friend or anything, they used to cry all night behind it. And when the slaves used to cry about what happened all night long, the white slave masters, the oppressors, will wake up in the morning time and they'll tell the slaves, did you have a good morning? Basically, did you have a good cry out? Did you do enough crying last night because of what happened to their family member a day prior? So the white oppressors came up with good morning as a mockery towards black people during the slavery times when they used to cry and mourn and grieve over what happened to somebody when they was whipped or killed or taken off to another plantation. So it was their way to make fun of the black slaves crying that night prior. So they would ask them, did you have a good morning? Did you have a good cry? And they would laugh about it. So that was their way of being funny towards the black slaves when they would cry all night about somebody that was hung, somebody that was killed. That was their way to make fun of them. Y'all know what mourning mean. All they did was take the U off of it. So nobody would think about what it really originated from. It was really a mockery towards black slaves and them making fun of what they did to their people when someone was hung, killed, or sold off to a different plantation. So that was their way of being funny. Did you have a good morning? Did you have a good cry about that person's death? Did you have a good cry about your daughter being taken away from you and sold off somewhere else? Did you have a good cry of your brother being hung yesterday? That was their way of being funny. Good morning, everyone.